with regard to the PSA exam, what does that involve? And if you're the patient, you, you come in, and a lot of times we as patients, I want to know everything. I'm, I'm one of those guys who asks a doctor, tell me everything, don't hide it. Mm -hmm. So from a PSA, a PSA exam, what goes into it and what should we expect to hear from it? How do we as patients interpret it? So the PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, is a blood test, okay? You would go into your to get your blood drawn, whether it be a LabCorp, Quest, your primary care's office, or anybody where they can draw blood. Uh, you want to do this, it could be at any time of the day. You want to make sure that you haven't had any sort of ejaculation, so sexual intercourse for a good 48 hours before. Remember I told you a big chunk mm -hmm. of the ejaculate comes from the prostate. So if you had sexual intercourse, let's say the night before you go to get your blood test, that's going to falsely elevate the PSA. So you get your blood tested. Uh, it takes a few days. Once your primary or your urologist or anybody who ordered it gets it back, we look at range of normal okay we look at two things number one what's the level and number two uh, what's the major change over the year so let's say you compare it to the year before and your new one is although it's still within a normal range but it's bumped up it's jumped up a little bit that tells us okay this may be somebody that we have to monitor a little closely or we need to get other tests to make sure that they're not developing a prostate cancer there. so there's a PSA test that begins and then you go into other tests which is part of the diagnosis that's correct this is all screening so ultimately what we're doing here is we are screening to see who here needs a biopsy. The ultimate way of checking is to actually get prostate tissue and look at this, send this to a pathologist, have them look at it under a microscope and tell us if they see any cancer. There.